physician modified candy block constraints drive innovations. I have, uh, I don't have any potential conflict of interest. Failure to remodel in chronic dissection is due to perfusion and pressure unchanged in false lumen. The presence of intercostals originating from false lumen and the false lumen backflow to the intercostals. Uh, false lumen thoracic aortic aneurysm in one third of TVAR patients. The candy block generation, the candy block technique was introduced by Colbel et al. at 2013 to achieve large distal false lumen occlusion. Today, custom made candy block by Cook are available in three generations, one, two, and three. Candy block one is a two step procedure, while candy block two and three have self closing channel with no further occlusion of the central lumen. This is how uh, candy plug one and candy plug two and candy plug three looks like. The candy plug follow up by Fiona from Hamburg group show us uh, that uh, true lumen increase in size during follow up while the false lumen decrease in size. Single center results from Hamburg show that uh, technical success about 100%. Uh, the diameter uh, decrease in 77% of cases and the diameter is stable in 21% of cases and the diameter increase in 2% of cases only. This is uh, our uh, preoperative CT from uh, our case. This is 65 years old male, hypertensive, COPD, history of chest pain with cardiac catheterization for his pain, misdiagnosed. He has the retrograde hematoma and he has a, a renal artery communicating channel uh, uh, at the level of the left renal artery. Largely entry tier, about 26 by 36 millimeter in diameter, while the true lumen is very small. Our plan was left carotid left subclavian bypass, zone 2 TVAR by TX2 perform 2 stent graft. Coiling of left subclavian artery ostia, sealing of the distal false lumen through candy plug technique, and spot stenting of the left renal artery with covered stent, preoperative arenogram was accepted. This is left carotid left subclavian bypass. TVAR, this is the first TX2 perform stent. Then this is uh, the second to the level of celiac artery and this is coiling of the ostium of left subclavian artery. The candy plug size was 15% larger than the average diameter of the false lumen. It was deployed in the false lumen parallel to the stent graft in the true lumen at one centimeter above the celiac axis to avoid narrowing of the uh, true lumen and intimal flap injury from candy plug device. Here you can see the contrast in the false lumen and don't uh, ascend to the thoracic part. Left renal artery sealing with covered stent, and this is uh, one month post-operative CTA with uh, complete disappearance of flow in the thoracic part of the false lumen. There is increase in the diameter of the true lumen and decrease in the diameter of the false lumen at, at the level of celiac axis and there is good opacification of the stent and left renal art. Several modifications of candy plug technique have been published. However, all of these techniques require placing a vascular plug in the waist of the candy plug, either with diameter restricting suture or using iliac limb extender to constrain the waist of the stent graft. How to modify excluder aortic extender to mimic sleeve channel of candy plug 2 we describe a novel technique that involves modification of the main body, then is flex, to create a physician modified candy plug with self closing channel. This is a piece of fabric and stent which I use for trying this modification. The steps of our modification firing the aortic extender on side table, we remove the lower two bare stents of the three bare stents, leaving the fabric intact. We invert the fabric material inside the first stent and fix by 5-0 proline to both sides of the stent to act like valve after removal of the nose cone through the sleeve channel. 
we constrict the stent by one silk suture, then using the nylon tape to reload the stent over the dilator inside larger sheets of the tape to perform. This is uh, how the stent uh, looks after removal of two very stents and excision part of the fabric, then suturing the fabric and invert it, and this is before reloading it inside the sheath. The modified candle black mimic valve, uh, uh, the cap retraction through the tip channel, then after the blood uh, go upwards, close this channel. Our conclusion, the full solumen backflow limits treatment success of TVAR in chronic type B aortic dissection. The candy plug technique less invasive to seal distal full solumen compared to the fenestrated or branched TVAR. The modified candy plug is visible and affected. effective. To our knowledge, it is the first worldwide modified candy plug with sleep channel acting like sealing closed valve. And thank you for your attention.